The Lubyanka Building, KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantown. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Алло, Беликов на трубке. Извините, я думал, что это писал с пол Сингапура. We're almost to the tunnels. Do you get access to the bunker? There's always a problem. Solve it. We're getting the files in that bunker. Do whatever it takes. And one more thing. One of our East Berlin informants recently switched sides and fled for Moscow. We have reason to believe he's in the Lubyanka building today. He knows too much about our Berlin network. I'm thinking an early retirement. Good man. Now I know why Hudson thinks so highly of you. We'll meet you at the basement entrance once you have the bunker key. Kamra Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. I'm sorry. You'll just have to come back tomorrow. Hey, Vasily, did the general come through here? And this is as far as I can take Have you ever been to Poland, Yuri? Yes. Comrade Belikov, have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new <clears throat> security development. There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. <clears throat> Thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this move. How has that gone? <clears throat> I am not a patient man, Bilikov, or a compassionate one. Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. <clears throat> we also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. <clears throat> I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, you Belikov? Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? <clears throat> it pains me to say it, but in a troubled time like this, even generals need restrictions. Secretary Gorbachev, only General Tsarkov should retain his bunker key for now. Very well. See to it. <clears throat> Worry yourself no longer, sir. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. <coughs> Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, our very way of life is at risk. The traitor will be caught. And he will pay a high price for his betrayal. Belikov, you are dismissed.
I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras. Okay, sure. Gavrilov isn't bad. I remember him playing top notch footy for East back in 74. He was always a pleasure to watch. Have you ever been to Poland, you? Yes. Sir. This area is restricted. If I'm spotted so, here, I'll what can I do my for cover. You? I have to get a bunker key for Adler. He'll need it to access the vault. Hmm. Unfortunately, Cherkov now has the only one. The beer is exceptional. Have you been there? Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about the force of the moon inside the agency? Hear about it? It's me. If I'm seeing this would be treason. How can I help you, sir? I'm sorry, Comrade Belikov, but Zakhaev has increased security measures. You'll need authorization from the war room like anyone else. I'm sorry, I can't. Zakhaev would have my head on a pike.
sir. The guard won't let me in. Uh, I need to get what he asked for. Or I can take him out. Are uh, you here about my assignment? <laughs> the armory guard has a weakness for Cubans. Okay, perhaps a bribe could get me inside. How can I help you, sir? How important is pursuing this lead to you? Ah, a Cuban cigar would really distract me. I'm sure you could find a personal stash in one of the offices. Wonderful. I'll let you in. But this never happened. Good day, sir. What can I do for you, Comrade Belikov? The General will be questioning a prisoner today, but should be available most of the time. Just let me know when you're ready to meet with him. I have a chance to kill Cherkov. Kravchenko's office will have the poison I need. Whoever you are, 
You won't get shit out of me. <coughs> help. You need my help. Save your breath. Ivanov won't cooperate. Yet. I should find leverage in the records room. KGB has his wife and daughter's abductions already planned. That's good. I can use this to my advantage. What does my family have to do with any of this? What? What must I do? Kill him? Uh, I'll try. But swear to this, my own life for my family. <clears throat> Comrade Belikov, we have a dissident inside, Pyotr Ivanov. Charkov wishes to speak to him. <coughs> yes, comrade. I've already secured the room, but please, go ahead. <coughs> I understand he's been collaborating with our enemies. He'll be sent away for good soon. Over locomotive. Betting on the wrong Moscovian course. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> Belikov, have you dug up my mole yet? No matter. We've discovered additional unauthorized communications. Within hours, we will know the exact computer they came from. Comrade. Fuck. I will be exposed soon. In the server room, I could point evidence towards Cherkov.
comrade. Fuck. I will be exposed soon. In the server room, I could point evidence towards Cherkov.
Беликов, have you dug up my mole yet? Cherkov, that's absurd. Where is your evidence? Huh. I have no idea how this got past me. Cherkov will be passing through here soon. When he does, we will apprehend him. <clears throat> General Charko, just how long have you been spitting on Mother Russia? Excuse me? Do you know who you're speaking to? I do now. Your medals will no longer protect you. Please empty your pockets on the counter. Colonel, have you lost your mind? <coughs> now step over there yes, yes, and yes, lift yes, your yes. arms Once to the side. Charkov, I'll yes, take his bunker key. Okay. Fucking do it. Is this your way of setting up my fall, Koshenko? Hmm? I'm looking forward to hearing the response of the Central Committee. Me too. Okay, now, now go in that I need to head to the basement and let Adler steam in. Anything else you need to tell me, you can do it in there. How can I help you, sir? Ladma. New Mexico. <sighs> Adler's team will need uniforms to get past security. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Belikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately! I wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? <laughs> this keycard gives you elevator access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh. Sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Clean. The uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Там, там, там. Я нашел не запертую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? Okay, I have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting to Commander Sobel. Get changed. Weapons and keycard are in the bag. Come on, this way. Once we're in the bunker, we're on our own. You heard the General Secretary of Brezhnev? No, what's going on? They made an operation. Heart? No, they increased the number of the number. А то некуда повесить еще одну золотую звезду. Делайте свою работу, мы кому-то крепко не поздоровимся. Это Беликов, идиоты! Найдите Беликова! Он только что здесь прошел. А что? Похожий как Сенька хочет говорить с ним. Если я увижу, то передам. Товарищ, морща пустишь нас. Ладно.
No metal detectors for us. We're going around. И куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Просто следите нашим инсту будет хорошо. Но я боюсь, что вам придется записаться на прием в другое время. Товарищ, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем я нем кобиности. Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. Поздравите, Беликов. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Это будет продолжаться столько, сколько нужно. Что здесь я происходит? Я ждал Ольгу Соколову. Но она не спустила за вами. Нет. А то есть да. Take us down. Hmm. No, Elitsa. When did you arrive? Ах да, разумеется. Товарищ командир, я не расслышал. Вы что, с дураками не дерзите? Кто вы такие? Элевейтор conversation always gets awkward. Gear up. They won't be happy to see us down here. Wait for my word. И прежде чем Кравченко успел оружие на землю. Я выдвигаю. У нас тут контакт! Они обходят нас фонда! Смотри! Врача! Сия! Мне нужно прикрытие! Огонь на подавление! Контакт! Another down! I need cover! Прикрой меня! Close to the wall. Watch it. Good 
We need to secure our expo. Plant a gas canister in the vent. Hurry up and set the gas. Good. Let's get to the vault. Almost to the vault. Where we go? What are you? They're breaking cover. What are you? What's up? Open the door. I've got your back. Moving! You grab the intel. I'll keep watch. Don't have much time before they get through. There's the list bell. Copy it to a disc. Get moving! We're running out of time, pal. They're cutting through. They're almost through the door. Get ready. Here they come. the disc. Let's go. Ah. Give up. You cannot escape. They're locking the place down. Follow me. This way.
This might be a way out. You are surrounded! We have your friend! got Belikov. Time for plan B, Bill. Activate the gas. Drop your weapons and surrender or he dies. When we move, get a mask on Belikov. I'll cover you. <laughs> Get a mask on Belikov. I'll cover you. Situation up top. They are on full alert, locking the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. Right they are heavy weapons by the elevator, what they brought me down. Ah, we need to move ourselves up. before reinforcements arrive. Uh. Right, 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 keep moving. The gear is this way. Uh. Ah. Let's go! Another job! Lazar, meet us in the southwest courtyard in five minutes. Belikov is hitching a ride. Plenty of room in the backseat. Once we get off the elevator, just keep moving towards the courtyard. Get the charge ready, Bell. Let's go, Bell. Get 
the list and we're heading back. It's about time. I've been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out... One of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus once and for all. Team? Wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee, Hudson. May I have a word? What's... Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. Now fucking time. Go, go, go! Do the honors, Bill. Open it, Kyle! Moving in. Like fucking clockwork. All teams pan out. Advance to the main gate. Stay down to fire! Fire, 
Cleansing fire! I'm moving! All gun turrets are clear! Move up! Move up! Copy that. Let's move! Cover my ass! Mark, take your team right. Copy. Moving. What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. It's quiet all of a sudden. Stay sharp. Contact! Fuck! Is everyone all right? Bell, sweep for mines. Estoy revisando. Moving up. RPG on the balcony. En movimiento.
Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Keep Mark. looking. I got contact. There's got to be other cameras. Try another channel. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device and bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs, Look let's out. move. Meet you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Necesito cobertura. En el laboratorio. Marcelo nos va a virar si no los detenemos. Solo son tres. Maten los idiotas. I'm moving! Avancemo! Please! They're shooting at us! No! Stay away! Necesito protección! Están flanqueando! Voy a revisar! Fuego de supresión! Adelante! Necesito cobertura! Allá va una granada. Grenade. Hombre caído. Voy a moverme. El movimiento. Let's go. Move. Estoy revisando. Contacto. Hombre caído. No kill. Get moving. They're really hunkered down. We must be getting close. Heavy MG. In motion. Grenade. Moving. Voy a revisar. Get moving. 27B. Adler, we're heading inside. Bazaar man the door. You got it, Park. Bell canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> Shot us. Escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. <laughs> Give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus! All teams head to the roof! Move! Move! And we get a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. Damn it! Doors down! Clear! Out of the way! Adler, I, I got eyes on an HVT! South rooftop! Could be Perseus! He's climbing into a chopper! Lock it down! Let's go! Move! The window! Out the window!
I need Bell, the window! Go! Now cover Fuck me. me! The chopper got away! Fuck Perseus, we got bigger problems! Captain, where the bloody hell are you? Bog down! Don't wait for us! Prep for Skyhook! Skyhook, this is ground team. Confirm you have visual. Roger that, ground team. We have visual. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your backs to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. Land down! Heads up, Bark, you got snipers on the roof! Copy that. Bell, no, take out those snipers. Ducks. They're everywhere. Controlled burst, Lazar. We're low on ammo. I think I'm ready for that drink now. <laughs> Don't tease me, Park. But we'll have none of that horse piss you call beer. It'll be a proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come. Voy a cubrirme. Getting low on ammo. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, Lazar. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm buying. Now that's something worth fighting for. Ground team, this is Skyhook. Your zone is hot as hell. Can we lend an assist? That would be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Ground team to Skyhook. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. Good effect. Good effect. Bullseye. That's a hit. Ground team, we only got enough fuel for one more pass. Be ready for extract. You will not get another chance. Copy that, Skyhook. I can see the plane. Park, we need a hook into the line, now. We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! Take cover! Shit. Bell? Ah! Ground team, My legs. contact in T-minus 10. Reach! The harness! I can't! No! Necesito cobertura! Well, that was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. Bell, I feel like I owe you. Ah, bloody hell. 
going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping Perseus. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? The memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam. One more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. We've got cut down! The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Maybe it was another weapon.
landing! The remaining VC fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin. So he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. The zip line nearby was the best way back to the cave. He wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. Bell, turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. We need chopper support ASAP! Roger that. Chopper inbound. ETA, two minutes. Coming from the window! Behind that house! Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. Christ, what's happening? The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success within the last few years. We've got a job to do. Let's up the dosage and run 1B this time. Okay, ready. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently.
But the path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Get down! VC! Let's move in close. Use our knives. Stay low. Uh, thanks for the assist. Good luck on your mission. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow ready. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Bell, you weren't killed. Let's go again. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow ready. That's when you discovered DC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. This could be the onset of another focal seizure.
Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Reports had the bunker across the bridge. You went left at the fort, not right. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Command! This is Victor 4. We've got a possible Soviet command outpost in sight. And BC all over us. Requesting a napalm strike. Victor 4, Roger. Diverting air power to your area. 30 seconds out. Duke 4, it's fan 2-1. We got eyes in the sky, ready to deliver. Bell, mark the target area! Wake up, Bell, mark the target! Mark it now! Roger, here we come. Get your people back and heads down. Inside the house hit by napalm, you'd find a hidden bunker door. Go check it out, Val! I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Park, give Bell another injection. That could be. Do it now. Bell's heart rate is already. Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last.
Good. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming down now. Bell, go through the door. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around. doing in the lab? Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume survive another round now you're asking me do it we're not leaving empty-handed script 17 ready bell we've got a job to do we've been over this already skip ahead to the next part the bunker door was right there at the ruins bell you went in Bell, go into the bunker now. Bell, open the door. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's 
complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kadavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he is stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. You even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are gonna get it out of you. We have, we have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job. On, we've got a job. Come on. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us.
Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. About time you caught up, Woods. No way I'm missing this. Motherfuckers are gonna pay for Ice and Lazard. You'll get your chance. Solovetsky's two clicks out. All units, EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. Straight ahead. Heads up, RPG. We got a spin. Bell, toss out a smoke. Get you. Get another grenade. Push me. Take some woods. Cover right. on the west wing. We're on it, Adler. Adler, this is Hudson. Have you cleared the AA guns? We need to launch these bombers. We got one AA cleared. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Contact! Let's go! It's you, Grigia!
Five minutes before all of Europe goes nuclear. Pick up the pace! Their power's coming back on! Adler, you seeing this? Woods, we're running out of time! I gotta tell Hudson to launch! That's a big gamble if that gun ain't cleared! Watch it! Heavy MG on the ridge! Hudson, start your bombing run! Copy that! Get your team out of there, Adler! Those bombers won't have a chance if we don't clear that last AA gun! You better hurry the fuck up! Grenade! Strike imminent. Well, the bombers will be here any minute. I need cover. Grenade. Ground team, zone is hot. You are danger close. Repeat, you are danger close. Bell, we gotta go, now! They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. situation down there. Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hand! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus, and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, 
It appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 